You see, I have a degree of sympathy for Takayuka Tanuka, the father who threw his seven-year-old son Yamota out of the car in a remote part of Japan, inhabited by black bears, as a punishment for throwing stones. After a few minutes, Mr Tanuka turned the car round to pick up his duly admonished son, only to find the boy had wandered off and got lost in the forest, and he wasn't found for six days. Now, I understand why Mr Tanuka didn't tell the authorities what he'd done to start with. He obviously felt ashamed. As it turned out, dumping his son was a pretty dumb thing to do, but how many parents haven't been tempted to do something similar at one time or another? I'm not sure I'd go as far as this, but we've all done stupid things on the spur of the moment, only to live to regret them. As a result of the incident, Yamota became a national hero in Japan for surviving for six days, and his father a national villain, who cost the authorities thousands. So in Yamota's case, throwing stones paid off handsomely. Well, Greg, I actually can't believe that you feel um, any sympathy for that nutcase of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you drop your kid off in a forest where there's bears? I mean, I've got three children and they've really, really annoyed me at times, but I would not let my kids out of my sight, especially leave them in a forest with angry bears. So I disagree with you. No, no you're being unfair to the bears. The bears weren't angry. <laughs> the bears don't necessarily attack human beings. They just disappear. Or something. But, I mean, have you never felt like that? Have you never felt... God! Feeling like that and actually doing something about, about it is two different things. And my three kids, honestly, are a challenge. They're still a challenge. But I would never... I must be one of the most paranoid mums out there. I would never leave my children for a split second, especially throw them out the car and drive off. I mean, what was he thinking of? Well, I know we all make mistakes and I, know, I, I, I am thought, not an angel. I thought I'd be almost alone in having some sympathy for this guy. But I see that a poll taken in Japan shows that 20% of the population thought it was appropriate punishment. No. Appropriate no. from the point of view that the son, what the son did was, was deemed as, as sort of, well, you know... Well, you, you, he was got to scare his son. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a pretty dumb thing to do, but, I, you know, you can see how parents get there. The principle... Like, I, I, what's I, going on in the world in this day and age? Mm. Um, you know, yeah. you, you shouldn't be doing that. I'll tell you what, I'll take you in my car and I'll drop you off in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> it's scared the bears. The thing is, I learned, I learned as, a, as, a, as a parent um, that if you don't... If you threaten your children with some sort of punishment, you've got to be able to see it through. And I learned that very early on, cos I used to make sort of wild claims about punishment to my young children. You know, if you don't come downstairs now, I'm going to take all your toys out your bedroom and set fire to them in the garden. And then I realised that I couldn't actually see that through. Did so, you, did you try it? No, oh. no. And they knew pretty early on that I wasn't going to do that because it was me that had bought the toys in the first place, <laughs> probably, and they know what I'm like. But the fact was is that it sounds like he got a little bit carried away with the situation, was clearly pulling his hair out, decided that it would be appropriate punishment to scare his son, and it backfired. So he's one lucky man because it didn't Very end lucky. in tragedy. But at the same time completely agree with Michelle, that you can't, yeah. you can't yeah. ever let your children I be put in that situation, can you? someone last night, a mate of mine, that I was doing this story today, and he said, I did that. And he was up in Scotland, and he was driving along the road, and his kids, two daughters, had driven him nuts, and in the end he said, right, stop, both of you out of here, we're going. And he dropped them both up and drove off up the road. That's all this guy did. Now, he was lucky. He went back oh. and they were both still there. One, I think one of them was chasing up the road. But, Greg, but, it's slightly different, because with your friend, I mean... Again, I, I agree with Michelle and Graham, there's no excuse. But at least with your friend, there were two of them. This is a boy on his own in the forest. It's madness. Look, it's not it's just insanity. It's not justifiable, but you can understand it. You can understand response. it, but still there's no excuse. Wh where's the mum in all of this? Was the mum in the she car? She was in the booth. So what? <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she was in the car. <laughs> why has why the dad got all the blame? Well, I Because the mum is obviously a part of this yeah. as well. Well, you did know? you see the dad's... I mean, the, at the end, the dad, you know, said terribly sorry to the nation and terribly <laughs> sorry to his son, and his son standing there like a smug <laughs> yeah. little, little boy. Yes. <laughs> a smug going like this, and you think, 
I know. God, you've lost control of him for life. For life. <laughs> <laughs> How much police time did all this take oh, as well? Oh. And I, I think the par I think the, the parents should be charged for it. Honestly, what you uh, think there should be criminal yeah, charges? I think they should be charged for it. Yeah. What for neglecting their child? Well, you don't throw your child, a small child, out your car and leave them in a forest with bears. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Even if he's throwing no, rocks at cars car. or whatever he was doing. Well, you know, there's other punishments. Yeah, that I think there they are could other ways of punishing your child. And I am, on. as I said earlier, I am not an angel. I'm not the perfect mother and uh, we all have challenges with our kids every single day but I wouldn't throw my kid out in a forest with bears it's well, madness so and I can't believe that you think that you feel the I, slightest bit of sympathy for well, that man I, I, I just <laughs> no, I just can feel, understand how he felt at that moment in time so have you lost control like that with your children have you got He's lost some children. <laughs> I've lost control like that in, in television studios. Talk about in, what, you've dropped off some presenters no, a, in the middle as of the As a woods. producer, <laughs> like, for God's sake. No, we all have moments like that, I think. That's how and Bear Grylls got his brain. And that's why I think there's, there's, <laughs> there's no point saying to this, to, to them, prosecute, we're going to prosecute you for what you did on the spur of a moment. I but mean, that's obviously, what happens, if the though. child, if something had happened to the child, I mean, the father must have, and the mother must have had a terrifying six days. Well, I so want to know how he survived. So I want to know how the child yeah. survived. Well, like, he was he severely eat? dehydrated, yeah. wasn't he, when, when they found him. He, he did hungry, manage to I drink. He hadn't eaten for six yeah, days. Yeah, and he, he had found, found some rainwater or tap water no, or something. But he found a shed and a tap. Mm. Mm. But it's, it's sort of, you know, tough love. Part of parenting is tough love, but that is taking it to the extreme, isn't it? And I it think is. that... I don't know if, you, if they... I presume they could be prosecuted. I don't know if it's ongoing. So you didn't smile when you read about it? Yeah, but smiling in the sense that relief... After they found anything. him. Yeah, After exactly. It was more a sense of relief was, because yeah. I think the chances of that boy surviving the time that he did... It's a were, miracle. Were, 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 was There'll incredible. be a film made out of it. There yeah, will that's be. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Quite, quite possibly, but it was... Uh, it, it, well, it's just, it's just one of those things that, you know, you've also got cultural difference in Japan as well mm. where you know, there's a different view of authority and there's a different respect culture. So maybe, you know, in the context of that, he felt that... that what he, what he was doing would scare the boy and he'd go back, pick him up, and all would be good and there'd be no more stone throwing. But Which probably would have worked if the boy Not hadn't now. wanted off. <laughs> now the boy's going to be leaving him in the forest. Watch him every time he's got a stone in his hand because he'll be um, lethal over the floor. How, how, would, how did you discipline your children? If that's not too personal a question. Um, Will you tell us, Greg? My wife was a lot tougher than I was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it's a bit like my, my father was... The same as me, really. My father was useless. I mean, so, I mean, <laughs> lovely man, but my mother used to say, "You'll wait till your father comes home. You're going to be in trouble." No, no, <laughs> no chance at all. My father was the softest man you ever met, and I'm a bit like that. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't have um, sort of done anything as extreme as. I would like to think I wouldn't have done, mm. but as I say, I understand the emotion he felt. Look, let's really scare this kid. Let's put him outside. We'll go up the road and pretend we've left him. <laughs> Not a good idea. There are lots of other ways to punish your children. And leaving them in the middle of the forest isn't one of them. Sorry, Greg. <laughs>